Hey Scorpio, this is your reading for the week commencing 17th of July 2017. Let's see what's in store for you this week. What messages do we have for Scorpio for the week commencing 17th of July 2017? What messages do we have for Scorpio for the week commencing 17th of July 2017? This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Ascendant. I reckon that you check your sun, moon, and ascendant sign readings as well for better clarity and insight. Okay, this just popped out right here. So chakras are coming in, sacral and base. Let's get some more information about that. That is such a scorpionic god. Death god and traditional tarot transformation. That is your god, Scorpio. Okay, rising like a phoenix from the ashes, Scorpio, typical you. I see that there is a new phase yet again, once again, we're so used to changes, we're so used to just life going topsy-turvy and throwing all sorts of shit at us and we're just sort of making something out of it, basically. So this is that time again this week, it's good. it could be a huge trans transformational week for you, Scorpio, you are um, shedding a layer and getting into this new skin of yours, you could have a, a big makeover, you could go for an extreme hairdo, you could uh, renovate your place, or you could move, uh, shift countries or cities or places, um, you could just suddenly decide to get married, or you could just um, suddenly realize that you um, prefer uh, women over men, or whatever, these are just hypothetical examples. So basically, there's a huge transformation, transformative, uh, transformative energy, uh, energy coming in here, and um, a big change. It could even be changing a simple habit, as um, a health uh, regime kind of thing. Maybe you want to give up smoking, and finally you might just do it this week. Um, so that's what's coming in for Scorpio. But earlier this week, I'm seeing some of you could be slightly struggling with your um, financial situation. And physical health, I'm seeing your lower back could be affected for some of you. And that does resonate with me. Um, I'm a Scorpio too, and my lower back's been actually quite painful for the past couple of days. And here it is, your back's in focus. So you could actually be feeling that somehow for some of you. I see... Um, some of you could be wanting to invoke a passion in you which hasn't come up yet, but you're working on your passion. So this card is in reverse, um, in inverse, uh, this thing, upside down. So you have to work on this to bring it right back up. This is about your passions, ignited passion. So you'll be working on this passion. Some of you might be, this is a week of realization. Some of you could be realizing, oh, I'm really passionate about this stuff or you know, because up till now you could have been uh, jack of all trades and masters, uh, master of none. But suddenly you realize, oh no, I, I could actually be a master at this. So this kind of a week it's going to be for you, Scorpio. And this is going to be a big change, a big transformation in your life. Because you're going to realize what you really enjoy doing. It's going to be, I see a shift in the energy. There's a big, there's a huge shift in your energy, Scorpio, this week. Your cards are very jumpy. Okay, so this is also, for some of you, could be um, moving on from a person. You could be actually moving on uh, from someone else. You might have waited long enough and now you realize that it's not happening, they're not coming. And your heart's somewhat broken. I mean, Scorpio is one of the strongest, uh, strongest signs when it comes to dealing with these things. Or overall, uh, they never give up and they do sort of get back on their feet. So you're going to have this tough outside, no one's going to know about this, but within you are actually missing someone, I get the feeling you're missing, you're missing someone from your past, and you could be feeling an emotional pain, which you are sort of blocking yourself, you're not letting your own self feel um, the emotion, because you're so defensive, so protective of it, of yourself, that you wreck these walls, and you're not feeling it, but somewhere deep down, you are missing this person. And once you realize this, once you feel that, it's sort of life-changing for you, Scorpio. Yeah, but I'm seeing a breakup. There could have been a breakup in the past. Or there could be a breakup this week, which is going to change your life. 
there could be a big shift, like you said. Some of you could be moving on from someone. Some of you could be um, uh, leaving someone behind and uh, for a new life, that kind of a thing. Okay. I really don't like this spread as much because I hate the tower card. I mean, it, it really depends on the placement and the combination of cards. So this is the combination that has come up for Scorpio. This is the traditional tower card in your uh, traditional tarot. And this is the Wheel of Fortune, which is upside down. And this is in the upright position, which means luck is not on your side. Just, and this is temporary. Trust me, this is temporary because this is just one part of the week, which is the end of the week, the weekend. This is not the rest of your life. This is not the rest of the month. This is not the rest of your fortnight. This is just this week. And vibes keep changing. Tarot keeps changing every day, every minute, every week. So this is for this week. So there could be this havoc. And what I'm seeing is this transformation, this death card. What I saw was not... Now it sort of makes sense with... The tower here it's not something very pleasant this change like i always say scorpios are very used to things changing very frequently but they're very bad at accepting that change because um we're creatures of habits once we have in routine we have something that we're used to we want it and then all of a sudden something new comes in we will sort of adjust to it but we need time to sort of get in the setting feel uh, get a feel of it that kind of a thing so, um, I'd say if you're planning a big holiday or if you're planning a, a buying a lottery ticket or something uh, like that, or if um, you're planning anything that has something to do with the luck factor somehow, it's not going to work in your favor this weekend. Week it might, but the weekend I'm getting, Thursday to Sunday I'm getting, Thursday onwards it's not going to be um, the best, so be careful while driving, uh, uh, watch, um, um, be watchful of your vehicles. On road, be very careful uh, to avoid any accidents. Um, stay protected. Don't go out in dark alleys and stuff like that. It could turn out to be dangerous. It's not the best time to sort of venture out on your own in the dark. And um, anything that has danger written over it, I'm getting danger. So just be careful. Always be surrounded by people. Be in a setting where there are lots and lots of crowds and people. Just for this week at least. This is another time to be on your own and venture out alone. You could actually find yourself in a situation which could be um, huge jeopardy to your life. Or to your um, circumstances overall. So be very careful of that. Vehicles. Um, drive safely. If you can avoid driving. Um, just cab it for this week or if I mean don't drink and drive just the typical stuff all I'm trying to say is be very careful because I'm getting the word danger somehow you've got to be very careful physical danger okay This could be, you know, one of those thugs on the road trying to loot your, uh, loot you um, off your money, wallet, whatever. Because I see some sort of loss of money. You could be actually losing some money here around the weekend time. Or you could receive some information, some communication from someone suddenly saying that, you know, remember the investment that you've made. It did not make money. In fact, you ran into a loss. It's not going to be... A loss that can't be recovered, like obviously it'll take time and all, but you might receive some sort of news that will tell you that you're not making money. Now, loss doesn't necessarily mean that you run into huge losses and bankruptcy. Loss also means that you could not be making a profit. So maybe you've invested in a business of yours and you're not reaping the results or the benefit or the profit that you should be seeing yet. That's equivalent to loss because you're not really making anything on top of it, your capital. So that could be one thing. Let's get some angelic advice. What can you actually do to deal with the situation, Scorpio? For the week commencing 17th of July, 2017, Scorpio, what can you do to deal with the situation? Scorpio, what's the angelic advice for Scorpio? Sun, moon, and rising, Scorpio.
Okay, some of you could be actually mourning the loss of... I am... Okay, so sorry to say this, Scorpio. Some of you, a very small number of you, but some of you could have... Um, for those who have had a really terminally ill person in your family, you could be losing them. There could be a death in the family, literally a physical death. When I says the physical danger, this is what it sort of relates to. This could be a physical death. You've got to be very, very careful. If um, you're driving, uh, you're a rash driver, please be careful. Do not drive out this week or do not uh, be rash on the streets. And just watch out, be careful. Or if it's a family member, you could be, someone could get terminally ill. And this is just for, for the some of you, not everyone, just for some of you. I also see some of you could be actually communicating at a soul level. Mediumship card has come up. So you're emotionally communicating with a departed soul from your family. It could be a grandfather, grandmom, uncle, aunt, mum, dad, whoever it is. And you're actually communicating with them. It could also mean their death. It could also mean this death. So they have already departed. And you are mourning their loss. And you're trying to communicate with them at a telepathic level. Because you love them. Because there is an emotional loss, a heartache and loss. You see that heart and how it's breaking? This is you, Scorpio. Your heart's broken because of a death, which is the death card here. And you're trying to communicate with a departed soul. In regards to this matter, mediumship. That's what's happening here, Scorpio. So this person whom you're trying to communicate with, this is one of the many multiple scenarios, this person whom you're trying to communicate with could have actually died in a crash or an accident or something along those lines. And that could have been the danger that I'm sensing. There is some sort of danger that was associated with the situation. It could be someone already passed away because of a dangerous situation or you could be part of a dangerous situation so be very careful. Physical danger is what I'm sensing. The good news is you have Ascended Master's cards which means you have Divine and Cosmic Guidance supporting you and as we all know Scorpio is a very strong sign and they don't really give up that easily. They'll keep fighting to the, to the last very breath. So powerful, loving and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. You have the divine guidance for this telepathic connection as well with this person who will try to communicate with you or you will try to reach, uh, reach out to. So whatever the situation may be, the good news is you are being protected and you are being guided. So now I'm not worried about these dangers that I've been talking about, Scorpio. Now I'm really relieved because... This card is absolute beautiful energy and this is, an, uh, this is indicative of the fact that you are being protected and guided. So even if you are part of this jeopardy, this danger sometime, there will be an angel that will come to your rescue, you know. Someone will jump out from somewhere or the other to, to protect you. That's coming, so don't worry about that. Okay, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations and relationships. So, um, you could be actually giving up on a toxic relationship, some of you. And some of you could be um, stomach, I'm getting stomach, uh, intestines, um, IBS, I'm getting IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, something to do with your bowel. Look after that area of yours, um, Scorpio, because it could be affected, you could have... Uh, an indigestion uh, problem or something you could have a little stomach ache but be careful watch what you eat avoid harsh items situations and relationships is what they're saying one final card to wrap it up right here as your theme shield yourself it goes very well with this because your ascended masters are guiding you and protecting you and this card is also indicative of my archangel michael cutting any negative cords from around your aura but you'll have to call upon him because it's about free will. So protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So they're saying protect yourself, call upon Archangel Michael and ask him to give you that warrior protection from whatever this um, danger could be. It doesn't have to be a physical danger. I think it's specifically a physical danger but it could also be an emotional um, aspect. It could be any kinds. 
So um, be careful of that. This is your reading for the week commencing uh, 17th of July 2017. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to uh, like, comment and subscribe. Sending you much love and light.